I'm not even joking guys, Nightwitch has recently gone from one of the worst cards in the game to one of the best cards in the game because of how well she pairs inside a giant graveyard. I've seen so many people running her right now in the top 100, so today I've been using this giant graveyard deck and I've been having a lot of success and it's because the fact that she spawns bats makes it super annoying against Cannoneer because the Cannoneer is just not good against Swarmies and then you have the bats in this deck as well so the bats are pairing well with the Night Witch that already spawns bats and you get the Evo Zap as you can see and the graveyard you can't even notice it got a nerf it's pretty ridiculous like I mean it spawns one less skeleton now that was what happened after the balance change but I don't know about you guys I don't really notice any difference whatsoever so this guy's running lava he decided to lava pretty early on and as you can see the night witch is coming in clutch defensively there i'm just gonna cycle a zap because i do want to get to that evolve zap ideally as soon as i can so i might as well just use the zap on the skelly drags there get a little bit of value and he's gonna go for guards so if he doesn't do anything here all right let's just get a giant going and then i'm gonna go for a night witch and see if we can get a push going sometimes you can get a lot of damage without even using the graveyard that's often what happens he's gonna go for a valkyrie and a mega minion i'm just gonna get a little prince going here he has to zap so he spent quite a lot there valkyrie mega minion and then a zap and we got a little prince down so i'm pretty content with that we're gonna use the little prince ability here sudi wants to do and he's gonna go for guards all right let's see maybe get our first bowler down of the game the bowler might not get as much value in this match if he's only got i guess the guards and the valk because of course it's not going to get too much value against the lava but the counter push with the giant could be pretty solid so we'll just see what happens we'll get our evolved bats going here on top of this lava and then i think this is when i'm finally going to go for my first graveyard push of the game this could be potentially a tower trade scenario and if that does end up happening it's actually quite a good thing because tower trades are very good in most matchups when you're running giant graveyard because of course you can just go giant graveyard in the pocket and it is so obnoxious for them to deal with so he's going to go for a balloon here this likely is going to take my tower here i don't think there's a whole lot i can do about that but if that does end up happening i don't really think it's the end of the world because like i said technically speaking it's a good advantage for me and he actually had to overcommit there he just went skelly drag so that's really good i will arrow this though just to make sure that doesn't deal too too much damage and then what i'm actually going to do is graveyard on top of the king tower going for a giant here and then i have my evo zap at the ready to to play it on whatever he drops on the king tower does he even have anything for this the zap coming in graveyard got so much damage look at the tower as well on the right one more shot no we don't get it unfortunately okay he's got like one more chance to get damage if he doesn't do something no no no, no it's over it is over definitely a wrap there's no way that balloon's gonna take my tower before i take his i am 100 sure there we go nice and easy game one over there all right so we're in our next game here this guy actually has the princess tower so let's see how the night witch fares against princess tower as opposed to the cannoneer i feel like it's just as good against the princess tower even in this meta because what will happen is is your giant is going to get way more value and the giant is oftentimes what tanks for the night witch so it's like both ways regardless of if you're against the cannoneer or the princess tower the night witch is going to be getting a ton of value so we're going to go for the little prince in the back here see what this guy wants to do the one thing is though is the bats of course aren't going to be as valuable so just the regular bats but the evo ones though gonna be just as good because the princess tower doesn't one shot them when they're healed up so we're gonna get a bowler going here he's got goblins knight so it's looking like it's gonna be some sort of cycle deck for sure just from what i've seen so far and he does have a drill so let's get a night witch going here and i think i want to try to probably get a graveyard going he might try to activate the king tower off of the bowler you can do it with the tesla if you do it properly but he can't do it anyway because he's got to defend this giant i don't even know why i was thinking he'd be able to do that oh my goodness he's got a mother witch that is potentially really problematic here because this is going to be a lot of piggies for me to deal with but the night witch is kind of clutching up actually look at that all the pigs are getting taken out that is so crazy what this is why i don't even know if the mother witch is that good like yeah it spawns pigs but i mean you just I, I don't know it doesn't seem to be that valuable like even against 
even against Beatty decks because it's like they can still get killed on the back end. So it's like, does it even matter? I want to try to get the King Tower activated here and we do successfully do that. I think that's definitely worth it because obviously now the drill is going to be dealt with a lot easier. I just think there's a lot of interactions where it's going to be nice, especially against for sure the goblins as well. So a few different things, not even just the drill. It's going to be a nice, I think, thing to have from here on out in this match. So hmm, thinking about what I want to do here, I, I think I'm actually going to arrow this and then let's, uh, Okay, let's go in here, and then if he decides... Oh, that sucks. If he decides to go Mother Witch... Alright, let's actually Evo Zap this. I was going to wait for him to play the Mother Witch, but I think this is a good opportunity here off of this Tesla. And as you can see, we're uh, we're getting a lot of damage here. Forced a lot of Elixir out of him as well, and that Bowler ended up... Wow, look at that. So see, even if you're against a deck that has Mother Witch, you can like not play your Graveyard and still end up getting a lot of damage, which is pretty much what has been going on this game um oh my gosh that wow that is broken the uh the evo bomber that is that is ridiculous like actually um yeah i don't know how i feel about that but that is kind of crazy um bowler 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 come on come on come on oh is it gonna line up please the giant the giant oh five hp okay come on now come on now i can't yeah, I was going to say, I can't be losing at 5 HP. That would be horrendous. Okay, let's go. We got it. All right, we're in the next one here. This guy's using the Princess Tower too. So we don't have our bats or zap in my starting hand. So I'm going to go ahead and giant in the back first play. That's actually not a bad play with Giant Graveyard. It's kind of a, I don't know what you'd call like a no skill play, but it's what you're supposed to do. So I'm just going to go for it. <laughs> He's got the Night Witch too. So this could be a very similar deck. He's got the Bomber, though, so it's looking like it's probably going to be Golem or something along those lines, but I guess we'll see. we got Arrows coming in there, and so Fireball Arrows, or Fireball Nato, excuse me. I don't know why I called the Tornado Arrows. That was <laughs> a bit of a slip up there, wasn't it? So he's got Baby Drag. Baby Drag is going to be kind of annoying because it's, like, good against the Night Witch, you know? It's, it is good against it. Baby Dragon isn't really good in the meta either, so kind of a bit of a disappointment that he's using it, but we'll see what we can do here. So he's going to go in for the bats at the bridge, because I'm running the Cannoneer, so he knows it's going to be annoying for me. And then he's going to go for a Night Witch, so I'm probably just going to go Little Prince, and from there, see what he wants to do. Maybe he wants to get aggressive and play something in front of the Night Witch. I kind of doubt it, though. I feel like that would be a little weird. Nah, he's just going to go Skelly King, so... I'll just go bowler, I guess, same lane, and we'll play this like a little passive. Maybe I'll just let that Evo Bomber go. I don't know. It's It, it kind of sucks letting it get that damage, but uh, maybe I should have just gone bats. I'm not really sure. It's all right, though. I don't know why he did that, though. That was a little weird going in for the ability there. Let's definitely go graveyard now. Get a little aggressive, see if we can get some chip damage, potentially. He's gonna NATO it back. Oh, I thought he messed up the NATO. He didn't, though, sadly. This is gonna be a lot of damage, though. I feel like that NATO hardly helped. Like, look at that, because now the giant made it to the tower. I thought that bowler was gonna take out... Oh my gosh. I thought it was gonna get another roll and take out the Night Witch. It didn't, though, sadly. That actually really sucks. Um, do I get the ability off? Yeah, I do. It hardly did anything against the golem, though, in terms of, like, pushing it back, so that really sucks. Uh, that is gonna deal with the golem, though, actually, so we can go ahead and graveyard here, and I'm pretty sure we're gonna take the tower 100%, because even if, yeah, he nados back like that, I'm just gonna evo zap, constantly reset, and that should do it. I don't even think I need to arrow. Maybe I should have just arrowed, though, because obviously... This is going to get a lot of damage if I don't, but I think I'm just going to trust my King Tower to help out against it. Let's see, though. Yeah, I think that should be all right. Let's get a Giant going here, and let's go Graveyard and see what we can do here. Get Arrows going on top of the Bomber, and let's get a Zap going on top of the Night Witch. Okay, that's pretty good. I guess we're in a decent situation right now. Nah, I don't know. Maybe not. It's kind of hard to say. He's going to golem in the back, okay. Well, let's get a graveyard going here, I guess, and see what he wants to do. 
Um, he's just gonna Night Witch, actually, so let's zap those bats, and... Oh my gosh, piling up a lot of damage, a lot of damage, a lot of damage. Is it arrow range? Ah, yeah, it is, it is. Let's go. That's the game. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to like and subscribe if you did.